Yo guys, what is going on? It's Lukey here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing on how you guys can get easy gold camo for shotguns. So, I've been using the shotguns an absolute ton on Modern Warfare and I have to say, shotgunning on this game is extremely fun. Like, I am having so much fun shotgunning on this game. It is just super, super fun and it's really, really easy to be fair. The shotguns are kind of overpowered so if you're going to be going for these camos i recommend going for the shotguns um probably first because they're going to be very very quick to do because there's only three of them and it's just i recommend going for them because they're probably going to get nerfed i imagine just because they are relatively overpowered um before i do get into today's video though i am doing a giveaway for one copy of modern warfare all you gotta do to enter is subscribe to me and then subscribe to the gibbonator down below and uh, yeah, in the description there should be a link as well to a tweet that will have all the information about the giveaway. So, in today's video I'm going to be focusing on how to get the easy camos for shotguns. I'm going to be going through all the different challenges for the shotgun, I'm going to be talking about all the tips and tricks I have for you guys, and also I'd like to mention that I have actually gone ahead and made multiple other of these videos i already should have an lmg one up um how to get easy lmg ones how to get easy assault rifle gold how to get easy smgs and gold and snipers and all of that kind of stuff so be on the lookout on my channel make sure to go ahead and subscribe because i am going to be uploading a ton of these videos for you guys anyway so the first thing you guys need to do on every single weapon is level the weapon up to the maximum level so to level up the weapons quick i recommend just simply going ahead and playing ground war because on ground war there is obviously a lot of enemies on the other team and therefore you guys are going to be able to get more kills more kills equals more levels and the shotguns in my opinion are pretty easy to level up because you don't need that many kills and there's not that many that levels i think the max level you have to get it to is level 51 and then you should have all the camos unlocked and then obviously you have all the other challenges in them so i'm going to go ahead and put up on screen right now the challenges you need there is 10 different categories of challenges for this weapon um a lot of them are similar by the way for each weapon so ars and all that kind of stuff um it all is pretty similar to basically unlock the gold um but it is there's a few different little things for each weapon uh, just to make it a little bit easier so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys these camos so um as you guys can see there is 10 camos the first challenge is to get a bunch of kills, which is easy. The second one is to get kills whilst crouching. The sec the third one is to get hip fire kills. Then you need to get point blank kills, and then you need to get headshot kills. You then need to get um, kills with all the attachments on your weapon. So you have to have five attachments on your weapon. After this, you need to get double kills, and then after that, you need to get kills um, with no attachments on. And then finally, you have to get a bunch of score streaks or kill streaks for the last challenge um so i'm just gonna go ahead and let's tell you guys the biggest tip is just literally play ground war and you guys will slowly but surely get these challenges completed um it's very very easy i have been using this i've only been using this for i think i've only got about 300 kills or something with this weapon i might have a bit more maybe 500 at the most and i pretty much have most camos and unlocked so the shotguns are definitely going to be one of the easiest guns uh, to get gold um but anyway, to get more kills, I recommend playing Ground War, like I said before, because obviously in Ground War, there's more people, and that equals more kills. That is going to level up your weapon faster, and you're just going to get more kills and unlock the challenge. The next one is Kills Whilst Crouching. Now, I have made a video on this separately, on how to get these kills very, very easily, um, but technically, the only thing I recommend you guys doing is just running in uh, places, and as you shoot someone, just do a little crouch. Basically, whilst you are shooting, just do a little crouch uh, and it's that simple it is very very simple to do and I it's just very very easy to be fair it's very very easy to do um, so I do have a video separate this with this which goes in more de detail and shows you guys the technique if you guys want to check that out by the way but the next one is going to be the hip fire kills hip fire kills pretty much all the kills I get with uh, shotguns are hip fire kills and I'm pretty sure most people are the same because with shotguns you don't really need to aim down the sight as long as you have a nice um, accuracy and as long as you stick a laser sight on there you guys can get these hip fire kills extremely quickly I got mine without even trying so that just goes to show how easy it is 
The next ones are point blank kills and to do this I recommend going into close quarter combat places. So go into buildings as you guys can see uh, my favourite thing to do is play ground war. You have to get this map and basically just head into the middle of this map and you guys can easily just go ahead and yeah just as you guys can see you guys can just easily go into the building and get these easy kills um one big tip as well guys is stick a tactical insertion on go up to the top because that's where all the enemies usually are and stick attack insert up there a lot of people for some reason they don't even know that it's attack insert i place my attack insert up there all the time if you watch right at the beginning um i actually placed my attack insert i spawned and they killed me and then i respawned right next to them and i killed three people within seconds um so it is extremely easy to do in my opinion the next one is going to be headshots so headshots on um shotguns are basically just going to happen um, there's not really much you can do about these because they are kind of hard to get because obviously shotgunning uh, pretty much every single kill you get it's going to be like a one shot one kill depending on the range of the kill and my recommendation for you for these challenges is not to go for headshots I know that sounds a bit stupid but I recommend you guys simply not caring about headshots just play and unlock all the other challenges focus on all the other challenges and I guarantee you by the end you have completed by the end of the time you have completed all the other challenges i guarantee you that you most probably will already have done all the headshots because they just come and they just come naturally every single game i get at least like five headshots uh, with this weapon out of like 20 kills so it is very very easy to get headshots so my biggest tip for you guys is literally not to care about them until you have completed every single challenge and i guarantee you by the time you've completed every other challenge you're most probably already going to have all the headshots completed the next one is going to be to get uh, kills with all attachments and obviously that's that's easy all you got to do is stick five attachments on the weapon and you guys have to get kills of them once again my biggest tip for you guys is to go ahead and play ground war um this ground war map by the way is definitely the best ground war map the other ground war map is basically useless when it comes to shotguns because it's very very big it's very wide it's very open and this map has a lot of buildings on it so it's very very ideal for shotgun in my opinion it's probably the best map and the best technique to get these shotgunning kills i reckon you guys could probably get them done within a few like within like five or six hours uh playing time it is very very easy to do um with the next one, all you got to do is get double kills. Once again, this just comes. So all you got to do for this, in my opinion, is go ahead and play ground war. Once again, I know I keep saying that, but ground war is the key to getting these um, quick camos. So on ground war, um, the best thing to do, once again, is go up into the top where everyone is, a flank behind them. As you guys will see in the gameplay, if you watch closely, most of the time what I do is I flank up behind them and I shoot them all when they don't expect it. As you guys can see here is a nice example here. I'm picking up a few kills and they have no idea I'm there. And that is the best thing to do. I got two double kills right there and it was very, very easy. The next one is to get kills with no attachments and once again this is extremely easy as well. You guys will have no problem doing this and once again you don't even have to try. Just take all the attachments off and once you've done that all you'll do is go around and get kills. And that is simply it. For the next one and the last one is you have to get kills uh, you have to get like three kill streaks so you have to go on multiple different kill streaks and then you guys will unlock the final challenge which is called the skulls one and then after you've done that you guys will go ahead and be granted the luxurious gold camo on this game the gold camo actually does look quite nice it's okay um uh, the other camos are kind of okay as well so it's going to be fun to get this definitely recommend you guys going for the shotguns again once again like if you guys are going to go for these camos i recommend you guys doing the shotguns now because i have a small feeling that they might nerf the shotguns in the future just because they are extremely overpowered i've seen a lot of people on twitter saying how stupidly overpowered they are and every single game i use them as you guys can see there i got over i got 45 kills in that game with the shotgun alone and it was really fun it was it was just really fun i'm having a lot of fun with these shotguns it's literally the most fun i've had and i'm sure you guys will have a bunch of fun too anyway that has been it for today's video once again if you guys did enjoy please go ahead and drop a sub and i am doing a giveaway again just go ahead and check the description down below thank you so much so much for watching i have done a video on every other class if you guys are wondering and yeah hopefully i will see you guys in the next video peace